Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. This time we're going to look at calculating the internal rate of return otherwise known as IRR on an investment. IRR is actually a function which can be used within Excel to calculate the internal rate of return as we shall see. Projects can be ranked by their internal overall rates of return and the investment with the highest IRR is usually preferred. It makes it easy to compare investments based on cash flows. It's used to evaluate the attractiveness of an investment. In the example that we see here, we consider the purchase and comparison of two machines whose purchase price differ greatly. So we're saying that the cost of the machine, it might be an earth moving machine or a, a post hole digger, um, who knows what, but we're going to say that one costs $50,000 another one costs $130,000 and we consider that they have a life of five years here are the cash flows the incoming cash flows over the five years at the end of the fifth year we actually sell uh, this one for 15000 the one we paid 50000 for and this one we can figure we can sell for $32,000 uh, so what is the best investment from an internal rate of return point of view. So what we do in this cell, I've entered a formula, IRR, and then I've simply dragged down through the cells that have the cash flows in them. Notice that the first cash flow, the cost of the machine, is shown as a minus figure. So if we paid $50,000, and we received this income from that machine then our internal rate of return is 125 percent. If we paid $130,000 for this machine and received higher income all the way along the line the internal rate of return is only 99 percent. So IRR does not measure the absolute size of the investment or the return which means that it can favour investments with high rates of return even if the dollar amounts of the return are smaller. There are some limitations to IRR and we need to bear these in mind. It only works for investments that have an initial cash flow that is the purchase of the investment followed by one or more cash inflows. IRR does not measure the absolute size of the investment on the return. Don't use IRR if the investment generates interim cash flows. That is, the cash flow needs to be of an even nature, weekly, monthly, yearly, etc. Finally, IRR does not consider the cost of capital and it can't compare projects with different durations. However, it is a very handy management tool for making investment decisions based on cost of equipment and the income generated by that equipment. Thank you so much for watching. This file will be uploaded to the link you see in the description below, which you can use for free, for practice. And again, thank you for watching. Bye for now.